What's the crack, lads? Welcome back to just another quick review. You guys were asking for this one. It's the Showtime Continental Tournament. Almo, DePaul, and James Rodriguez pack. Now, a lot of people are looking to know whether this Mbappe is worth it or not. Well, I'm going to show you a build of him, and then we're going to show you what he looks like in-game as well in terms of his stats when he's with a top-rated manager. It's a good card. I mean, it's a masked Mbappe, and I do feel like a lot of people are buying this, pa buying this card or trying to get this Mbappe just for the pure look of him um, from most people I've talked to. So he does have fairly decent stats. I do think as well that Almo and James Rodriguez are definitely going to be slept on a little bit. It's a pity Rodriguez is down as a winger because I think if he was a whole player, it would be a phenomenal card. He's got everything you could possibly want. Don't worry too much about his speed and acceleration. We'll show you a build for that to make that a little bit better because he has phenomenal player skills, really, really nice uh, player all around. And I do feel that he could be, with the visionary pass, he could have been one of the best AMFs in the game if they'd given him whole player, but he is going to be held back a little bit by, uh, I feel like just because his card is a little bit kind of, um, his, his card is just a little bit slow, but this is, as I said, this is a build of him where you can get him to 91 acceleration with 81 speed, he is going to be slightly clunkier than, you know, your run and gun players, um, but he does have tight possession, ball control, dribbling all up into the high 90s or mid 90s. Kick and power acceleration and balance is going to be really, really nice as well. Finishing at 80, you can take off some of the dribbling. Honestly, I think some of the dribbling, it depends on how good of a dribbler, dribbler that you are. Once you have 90 tight possession with most of these cards, you'll be fine. Um, but this is a really nice card if you wanted to look at that card there. And it's literally just to get his acceleration up to that 99. So you're going to be pumping a lot into that, which is a bit of a problem if you are waiting, you know, to have his finishing at 85 or his low pass at 90. I do think that they will change the low pass quite soon, right? But also on top of that as well, we do have Danny Almo. We're going to go over to eFootball DB here. I'm not going to overcomplicate this. This guy's down with a striker's in instinct booster as a whole player. He's also got blocker as a skill. So it's a bit of a crazy one. And he does have phenomenal finishing. So he definitely is based on his card in the Euros when he scored that goal. His acceleration is good, his balance is good, he's got a good starting base with 33 levels here as well, and I do feel that if you are going to be using this card, it's going to be all about how you actually play yourself, like, because you can get a lot of his stats up, and obviously we're going to be getting the boosters here, we can get this to 83, 85, whatever we want, depending on how good we are at passing or shooting, we can get this to 83 as well, you're going to be getting the boost in all of these stats, and even when I'm building cards now, I don't really build cards anymore, lads, taking the manager booster into consideration. But that is a really nice card, especially with the skills that he's got. And as a whole player attacking midfielder, it looks like a really, really good card to, to me, to be honest with you. It looks like a really, really nice card um, if you want to go there. 6, 7, 5, 12, 9. And you can mess around with that a little bit as well. The offensive awareness at 90, the balance over 90 is going to be big as well on that card. And I do think that he is a decent card that's going to be slept on a little bit. The rest of the pack is okay. You've got Tony Cruz, you've got Xhaka, you've got Rodri. They're good cards. They're okay cards, but not compared to endgame levels that have been out there before, like Showtime Rodri. Mbappe is nice, obviously, as well. We showed you the build for that, and we showed you what he looks like in-game. Um, but I do feel as if, or we will show you a build for Mbappe here in a second, actually, uh, before I go off that. Because I do feel that Mbappe can be extremely um you know good in game especially as a prolific winger but if you play him through the middle he's going to be very nice as well so that's something to think of as well he's got 28 levels and if you look at all his skills here he does have chop turn double touch there's a lot that you can train up with him um he obviously doesn't have a showtime skill or a booster his finishing you don't need to go too much into that if we go over here to eFootball db i will show you the build that i would probably go for here in real time the biggest thing with mbappe lads i think is whether or not you run and gun with him or whether or not you want to actually have him a little bit more pace and with his kick and power up. That's probably a weakness of him, that the kick and power isn't as strong as other strikers. Um, you don't need passing with this card, but the rest of the card there is going to go to the 90s in every single stat. Honestly, I think it's a really, really nice card. Um, yeah, there's nothing, there's nothing to dislike about this card whatsoever. I mean, you can get every stat exactly where you want it to be. And then last but not least, we have DePaul, right? So DePaul is kind of an interesting one. I do feel that a lot of people won't use him. I've used him before as a box-to-box. -box. He's a pretty decent card. He gets a booster to his aggression, stamina, physical contact, very unique hard worker booster with skills, plus interception, track back and fighting spirit, double touch soul control. So you can give him flip-flap and blocker and you're going to have one of the most unique cards in the game. You can do it all across the pitch. You can play all the left flank, all the right flank, or through the middle, except for DMF, which is unbelievable. SS to CMF left wing to right midfielder it's a really really nice card really unique card and of course he's got 33 levels as well so just a quick little guide on him in real time again it depends how you're going to trade him up because you can do equally both you can turn him into kind of like an aggressive 
defensive kind of uh, center midfielder or attacking midfielder if you go with this build, where you're going to have pretty much everything exactly where you want it to go, and you don't need much technique with him. You know, you can get still get your pass into around the 85 mark, you can get his dribble into the 85 mark, and you're going to have a very nice attacking slash defensive all-rounder, like that's going to be able to do everything. Now, if you kind of dilute a bit of his defending and you just say, look, I'm going to be happy with 75 aggression, I think the trick with this card is to get his aggression to... to um, to at least 80 you only need to pop in one into that for the manager boost and his own booster to get that but the rest of the card then is if you want to go um up a little bit higher you can actually get his dribbling up to the 88 type possession mark if you want to go a bit higher you can but 88 type possession is more than enough and you can pop the rest into acceleration and dexterity is going to bring up his balance as well to the 85 mark so it's a very very nice card i definitely think people are going to sleep on that with his booster for the stamina and the physical contact it's a very unique card. But let me know if you guys did spin for this. As I said, that's what Mbappe looks like in-game as well with a manager boost. You've got 90 finishing, tight possession, ball control, and balance. And then everything else is going to be over 90 for the main stats, as well as you know speed and, and stamina being exactly where you want them to be. So let me know what you guys think. I will talk to you in a little bit. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one.